Welcome to this month's economic update. I'm Sinead Rafferty, Portfolio Specialist at NAV Asset Management, and I'm joined by our Senior Economist, Bob Kinane. Welcome, Bob. Thanks, Sinead. Bob, we saw sharp falls in share markets in May after the positive performance we'd seen in prior months. What was behind those falls? Well, the main concern is the global trade issue is intensifying. So President Trump made a call on the China negotiations. He said basically that he would raise tariffs from 10 to 25 percent because he thought the negotiations were not succeeding. And as well, he threatened Mexico with also tariffs. So this has escalated the trade war and spread it globally. So from the point of view of the US share market, you saw a sharp 6% fall for May itself. You mentioned China as well there. Their share market was down 14% in May alone. Is it purely driven by the trade tensions? It was largely the trade tensions, but also we had some weaker Chinese economic activity data. So if you looked at retail spending and industrial production data for April itself, they were on the softer side and there's concern that, that the Chinese economic growth is not as strong as was previously indicated at the start of this year. And yet conversely, the Australian share market posted a modest gain. Was that driven by the recent election, perhaps? Well, there was a couple of factors involved. Uh, firstly, the Reserve Bank, our central bank, signalled lower interest rates were around the corner, and subsequently the Reserve Bank cut interest rates in June. So that helped the Australian share market post a 1.7% gain. We also saw the federal election and the Liberal National Party coalition was returned to office. So investors' concerns about the risk of uh, capital gains tax being raised, negative gearing as well being removed, those concerns were alleviated with the federal election result. Okay. Now we saw a rate cut in early June. The market is signalling that there'll be a further rate cut later in 2019. Is that a signal that the Australian economy outlook is looking less attractive than it was previously? Yes, it's definitely looking soft. So what we had in the, the March quarter, economic growth came in at 1.8%. So normally you would expect the Australian economy to grow closer to 2.7%. So we're definitely in a slow growth environment. And we, when we look at particular concerns in the Australian economy, consumer spending being weak, falling housing construction, falling car sales, there's definitely a very soft Australian economy and hence the need for the Reserve Bank to consider cutting interest rates even further. In light of this, are bond yields moving lower? Yes, so we've seen a very sharp fall in global bond yields in particular, so American government, uh, Japanese, German bond yields in particular have fallen quite dramatically. We've also seen Australian government bond yields fall. So partly reflects the Reserve Bank cutting interest rates and the soft economy. And the Australian 10 year government bond yield is now below 1.5%, which is quite extraordinarily low. Thanks for your time, Bob. Thank you very much, Sinead. And thank you for joining us.